Great to be with you all this afternoon here at Pindrop. And we see that on average, one in every 2,200 calls is a fraud call. That varies depending on the kind of business that you run. This threat is growing about 30% uh, over last year. And when you couple this with the growth in phone channel generally, there is a pretty big threat. 96% of contact centers expect to grow in the next two years. And that's really driven by the kinds of issues that customers want to handle through a voice interaction. Anytime you have a complex inquiry, they really want to be able to have a conversation with somebody and be assured through a high fidelity means of interaction that their issue is being resolved. As we begin transitioning from signature credit cards over to EMV cards with chips, our predecessors uh, have, have noted a significant increase in card not present fraud. Fraudsters who previously would have counterfeited cards for use at point of sale now have to put food on their table and by some other means they turn to card not present fraud which is easier for them to do. So clearly we have some work to do in order to protect the phone channel. So let's talk a little bit about how authentication typically happens in call centers today. Authentication generally we would capture as verifying something you know, knowledge-based authentication, something you have control of a phone number, and something you are is typically cast as voice biometrics. Unfortunately, knowledge-based authentication gets more and more difficult to use effectively in an environment where more and more data is present and available online. KBA failure rates are 10 to 15 percent. For some populations, they reach as high as 30 percent, according to Gartner. Additionally, the data brokers that handle some of those questions have been systematically targeted by organized crime. Voice over IP services have made spoofing caller ID so trivial that there are a number of services where you can for free go and spoof a number. Frosters are using these to great effect. And then finally, voice biometrics, the something you are. There are a number of, of issues with voice biometrics. It's good technology, but frosters frequently use voice distortion. Background noise can interfere. Call quality can be an issue. And then how many of your customers call frequently enough that they would be willing to make the several test calls that they need in order to enroll. There are associated privacy issues, number of difficulties that have made voice biometrics difficult to deploy for many customers that we've talked to. So something we know, something we have, something we are, what's left? Well, actually, there's quite a bit of information that's left in your phone calls, and Pindrop specializes in extracting that information. And it turns out that it's the kind of things that attackers can't manipulate in the same ways that they're able to manipulate KBAs or caller ID or voice biometrics. We actually analyze the audio of the phone calls that come into or go out of your call center, and we extract 147 different features uh, from the audio, things like how much packet loss is there? How many frames are affected in some way, distorted in some way? What kinds of frequency characteristics do we see? What kinds of artifacts left by codecs? What kinds of noise? How clear is the signal? What's the signal to noise ratio? And, and other features along these lines, very signal-based kinds of things. It turns out that when you extract the right ones and enough of them, we can actually uniquely identify phone devices with that. We can classify that call based on what type of phone and network carried it. Is it a voice over IP device? Is it a cell phone? Does it come from a traditional landline? We're able to do some measure of geolocation coarsely. Frequently we see that fraudsters are calling from international locations even though the ante that they're presenting is a U.S. or, or a other domestic ante. So I think that there is a lot left to be done in terms of authentication in call centers. Pendrop is positioned very well to help you do that and we look forward to working with you in that way.